in the present setup of our society where injustice and violence tend to get the upper hand we present we all here we are to each of those noble souls imbued with love of god and genuine concern for the children of god venturing into acts of love and kindness <laughs> divided the so called rich and highly placed people and the poor and helpless daily wage workers even the priests who were supposed to share god's compassionate love were secluded within the city wall in a luxurious lifestyle being unable to meet their spiritual needs these poor people slowly drifted away from the kingdom of god the fresh philosopher rousseau said man is born free but he is in chains every way this became literally true in the case of the poor people of como though the wall of como was built with the intention of protecting its people it stood there as a symbol of discrimination suppression and exploitation the common people who suffered the effects of industrial revolution cried for their daily existence the rich and influential in the society took advantage of the situation under the pretext of helping these poor they started many silk factories many young girls who took up jobs in these silk factories in order to escape from their pathetic domestic conditions were exploited and marginalized 
it is always the women who are exploited maximum many young girls of como lost their lives and dignity under the misrule and anarchy of those in power you are not aware of the might of capitalism you can watch it for yourself here and products are sold out like hot cakes the credit for that goes to this man what a beautiful work they are doing do you think there is any other tool which will do this work so beautifully quite true with what dexterity and speed those little hands are moving they are making super quality silk anyhow we must try to gain maximum profit from this of spiritual life later fell into the pit of poverty the same thing happened in the case of francisca and maria they endured the extreme poverty and social insecurity with their spiritual fortitude francisca and maria were born in the same year in the same parish in the neighboring houses they looked like sisters they shared with each other their dreams and goals in life and they were led by the same spirit as they grew up later they became instruments of god who were zealous in doing god's will this led them to greater goals in life as the beginning of a great plan of god for them they became the active members of the pious activity of the parish for the youth i was waiting to tell you one thing is it so what is it we are able to do many good things for others through our pious activities but i have feeling that god is expecting something more from us quite right francisca the spirit longs for something deeper We have to offer God our whole life, but we have to work for the orphans and helpless girls of this locality, who are exploited more than two. Quite true. Anyhow, let us inform our spiritual guide, Father Pellegrini, about our desire. What do you say, Francisca? You are right. As he knows us right from our childhood. you'd be able to guide us in the right path 
Shall we meet Father Academy right now? Good morning, Father. Good morning to you. How are you? What brings you here? It is some time since we met last. By the grace of God, we are fine, Father. How is your acts of charity progressing? All our activities should be done with utmost sincerity for the love of God. God has a great plan for you. Our time we desire to lead a committed life is growing deeper now. We have come to consult you about this. That is good. Your desire is very good. But I think now your service is more needed for the girls of this land than your monastic life. You have a lot to do here. Smart girls like you are the need of the heart. I think that is what God is demanding from you now. These words of you are a living life for us. That is why. What do you say about starting a new venture to make your current activities more fruitful? Father, if you ask so, otherwise you leave it. I think it would be better if you work with those few girls of your association who are efficient with leadership qualities. That way, you will be able to guide those girls to self-sufficiency. If it is the will of God, we have nothing more to say. Please bless us so that the supply of God is actualized to us. Jessica, Maria, I'm very happy to note that your work in the pious activity of our parish is going very well. But Paula, no, we are able to do many things to uplift the moral life of our young girls. I was wondering what else we can do to make them so sufficient. That is right. Even I was thinking on the same line. Maybe it is the good Lord who sent you here now. If you cooperate with me, we would be able to do something about it. Quite true, Paula. But if we start something for them, why to accommodate them? Oh, that is true. There's a way that the Orsala Monastery is vacant now. I think we will get it if we ask them. That's a good idea. The other day, when we visited the church there, we saw some very equipments lying around. And Francisca is very good at maybe, you know. The providence of God will be with us always. Like Mary, who gave herself completely to God, realizing that he needs her. Francisca and Maria realize that God needs them to help his children. So, they completely offered themselves to the one who was crucified for them and for his sake giving up all their beautiful dreams for future. They began taking care of the forsaken, downtrodden, and hopeless young ones in their locality. Many years went by. They rented St. Ursula Monastery and started living together along with 30 poor and forsaken girls. Their activities were well appreciated and welcomed by the people of Kama. Many young girls found a decent life through them. But one day. Francisca, what happened to you? You look worried. Maria, my desire to lead a religious life is growing day by day. Very true, Francisca. These activities of charity do not seem to give full spiritual satisfaction. How beautiful it would be to live a life fully consecrated to the Lord. But Maria, I don't think our companion Paula sees the same interest. I do feel the same. Anyhow, let us ask her about her basic ambition in life and share with her about our dreams. What are you doing here? 
I was looking for you. Okay then, don't you think we must make our activities more spirited? Do you know with what hope and interest the people of this land look upon our activities? There is a light of hope now in the eyes of all the girls who came here depressed and dejected. Everything is God's providence. That is why the good people of this place help us financially. Quite right. It is the same thing that prompted the good soul, Mr. Bianchi, to donate us a good portion of his wealth. We must spend that money in a way pleasing to God. But Paula, we were thinking of sharing something important with you. What is it? Whatever it is, you can share it with me. We will consecrated life be better to serve the children of God. It is the goal of our life too. What? Religious life? I am not interested in such a life. What happened to you? Do we have embraced religious life in order to protect the orphans and abandoned? Oh no, not exactly. We can draw many souls to God through religious life. We have a strong inner us for that. Not only that, you know that we have financial constraints. It is because of that, I told you, we would agree to the proposals made by the director of that ladies hostel. Now, if you have a wish like this, I need to think further. Paula is a good leader for us. The she is with us. We are safe financially in all aspects. Now, if she leaves us, we will have to face many challenges. Johnny worry, Francesca. God, who guided us so far, will continue to lead us. Right. Those who have trusted in Him have never been forsaken. God is empowering us through trials. What He needs is with instruments. Whatever be the will of God, let us accept it with an open mind. Let us spend some time in His presence. Lord, You are the only one who knows our problems. Only You know our minds and aspirations. Please reveal to us your plan for us. Bless Paula too, who is struggling like us. Francisca, now I feel most strongly that this is the will of God for us. During the moments of prayer, I was being filled with God's love, as if I am strong enough to face whatever comes our way. Anyhow, we will tell Paula when she comes. How are you, Paula? I'm okay. Paula, we have come to realize God's plan for our committed life as religious. We have no two minds about God's will for our future. Even if we have to face hardships, poverty, and hunger, we will stay rooted in God's will for us. If you think that is the plan of God for you, so be it. I am not interested in religious life. My goal is to work for the empowerment of girls. I can do it wherever I am. I will not be an obstacle in your way. I will move from here. Wish you all the best. I am going. Bones are breaking and friendship too. We ate and slept together for a time. What shall we do now, Francisca? Papa has left us. Don't you worry, Maria. God will lead us. Let us go ahead, holding his hands. The absence of Paola Portebue shook Maria and Francisca badly. But still they took courage in the providence of the Lord. Those who trust in the Lord will grow stronger. They will fly high like the virtues. This word of God proves true in the life of 
Francisca and Maria. Maria, see how happy our girls are. Really, we can never thank God enough when we see the enthusiasm and cheerfulness of these girls. Even though Paula loves us, God has taken care of us. Let us thank the Lord for guiding us so far. Good morning, Francisca, Maria. How does the activities proceed? Hope you are keeping well. By the grace of God, all goes well, Father. Do you know, with how much expectation, the people of Como are watching your activities for the promotion of the poor girls? Everything is God's blessings. Your life example and style of activity is really an inspiration for me. I have come with a suitable gift for you. Hello, Spider. Let me take leave of you. May God bless you abundantly. and Maria finds the essence and originality of their life in the picture of little Mary presented in the temple. Here begins the history of the presentation congregation. Francisca and Maria found the meaning of the life they led so far in Mary presented in the temple. These two great souls offer themselves completely to God and his people spreading the fragrance of goodness belong to different families. At their birth and death were around the same time. They stood strong and brave in front of the rough realities of life, leaving themselves to the providence of God. Even today, the vibrant presence of our founders envelops or enfolds the presentation family and keeps attracting many into its fold. Here we have the young ones, the young shoots of presentation family, imbibing the loving and heroic spirit of our founders into their hearts.
ceaselessly points us to the law as the ruler necessary. Behold, is the cause of commitment that we tag on 